Hey, got 60 seconds? Well, let me tell you about this beer. G'day guys, welcome back to the shed. Been a little while since I've done a 60 second beer review so I thought I'd knock it out of the park this week with some sensational craft beers out of New Zealand. Now New Zealand craft beer scene is so hot right now. How hot? It's hot! Damn hot! Real hot! Hot and this is my shorts, I can cook things in it! And one of the market leaders in that craft beer scene right now is what I like to call Moa. But I think it's actually pronounced more. But it's spelt M-O-A, so I'm going to call it Moa anyway until someone tells me different. Maybe it's just I don't have that Kiwi accent, bro, or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, these guys have been knocking out of the park, brewing out of the Marlborough region, wine country, in New Zealand since 2003 and doing a sensational job. So take that, wine lovers. Now, uh, these guys sent me some samples to check these beers out, and uh, I've really enjoyed them. I've been working my way through them. This week, we are talking about the Belgian edition Festive IPA, which is a, uh, a hybrid American slash Belgian IPA, which is, this sort of style's a bit of a funny kind of beer. You've got the American hops of the uh, Amarillo, Simcoe, and Citra in there, and it finishes off with the Belgian S, which really messes with the, the taste, in a, in a good way, I mean. And uh, check it out in the glass, a really, really nice colour. And uh, you've got aromas on the top of this with uh, floral, citrus, a bit of herbal, and a little bit of pine going on in there as well, and the taste. So it sort of starts slightly sweet, with a really nice solid maltiness, and I even pick up a little bit of banana in there too. And then you've got a really nice spiciness coming through from that Belgian yeast, and it finishes off with an 80 IBUs, just punching in the face. It's absolutely sensational. Now, if I was going to pair this up with some food, I'd go on a spicy Asian dish, or maybe some sharp cheeses. And I'll just say to you, if you have not tried a Belgian IPA before, get out there and grab one and try it. It really is a different taste sensation. It's just amazing what the brewers can do with these types of ingredients. Anyway, I've really enjoyed this beer. I'll give this one 7.5 out of 10. If you like what I'm doing here, please check out my social media pages and like and subscribe to my videos. But most of all, find it by drink it. Cheers to great beers.